Yeah, uh, I also don't tell people. People don't know if I'm. Oh. But don't put that. <laughs> <laughs> that was like basically the reason we're fighting like all the time. And that's why I left that in my person. Get rid of that boo and that one. Wow. Actually, actually, I want to ask Akiva about how does it feel to be single? And, oh, what single mom? Single, like? single mom. And single, oh. basically single. Because oh, actually, I'm going to make a video about like that freaking one year anniversary. Oh, okay. I've been divorced. <laughs> Just, um, I've been divorced before too. <laughs> <laughs> Pros and cons. What's the good thing about uh, being single and divorced? First of all, it's too hard uh -huh. for a, a single Wait, she said person. I know. <laughs> <laughs> pros do not immediately come to my mind. It's too hard for a single person to raise kids yeah. by yourself. True. You are always with your kids 24-7. Okay. So I think it becomes like a mental struggle. Can't, like last night, I was sick, but then I felt better at like two in the morning. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to run out and get some Advil, but I couldn't mm -hmm. <laughs> because the kids were asleep, right? So even those like little mini things, that's mm -hmm. what's the hardest part. I don't know if it would be like that for someone like who's living with their mom or living with another family member. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Pros? Girl. <laughs> <Bro. laughs> It's pros. You don't have to set your schedule around nobody else. That is a pro. You do what you want when yeah. you want to do it, when you feel like doing it. Yeah. Um, you have no one else to consider but you. True. Oh, um, well, but you still worry about your kids. Yeah, but you talking about being single. <laughs> <laughs> you're not talking about being single with kids, but also being single with kids. I mean, that's another thing. You get to do what you want. You don't have to consult with anyone on it either. So sure. if you want them to do gymnastics or something, <laughs> you get them to have to do you They can do gymnastics that's, whenever you feel like it. Yeah. If you're not like co-parenting, obviously. Yeah. But I wasn't well, co-parenting. Co I wasn't. Right. Don't put no. that in there. Well, so what? you should. So, what? Don't put it. Hmm? No, what? no, don't put what? that. What? Because I don't want nobody. I mean, you can find out that. But no, um. Yeah, I, I also don't tell people. People don't know if I'm. Oh. But don't put that. <laughs> okay, I have all this. I have it on tape, so. But it's not, it's not, you gotta pay me not to. Yeah, it is. Right. Baby, you know what? <laughs> Bro, but but why are you making fun? Don't put that butt. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get the camera and see it. <laughs> okay, but actually, Lily, let me ask you this. Okay, let me ask you this. So, here's a big benefit. What you're saying, I think, is a big benefit because uh -huh. I don't know if I would be able to adjust to having somebody in my space, mm -hmm. like having to do stuff for. Mm -hmm. When you were married, you were like cooking for your husband. Now you're cooking for your kids. Do you also have to cook for Chris? Uh -huh. Okay, so well, you... I don't I don't know if I should put this one out again. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean I think a lot of people know like when he made a video, James made a video, his reason was basically like I was not a good mom. I was not a good wife. I was not cooking. I was not cleaning. Mm. You know? Your house is never dirty. <laughs> I'm saying that. It's, it's not dirty, dirty, but messy? sometimes it can be messy or unorganized. <laughs> well, then why didn't he clean up? I mean, like, you both have jobs. Yeah. I but he, he was likes saying to keep that. His stuff clean, though. He likes to keep mm -hmm. his stuff yes. clean. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. in his perception. In yeah. his perception, you should have been doing it. Yeah. As that, mm -hmm. like, that's how he wants it yeah maybe in yeah. his cultural yeah that's so i was always like right. man like around six o'clock i'll get like anxiety anxiety like yeah yeah it's like he's gonna be upset or like yep. or something yep. yeah actually i don't put this this is a private <laughs> private vlog <laughs> only fans <laughs> I'm I'm getting profit out of this. That would be like ten thousand dollars. I would do that. But no, I'll just Mostly. say I'll just say I know that feeling. I know that feeling of like, oh, okay, now it's 
it's like like you said close to 6 p.m okay is the house done is the food like ready blah 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 and no yeah. because i'm working so yeah. i don't know now going forward will i ever <laughs> be able to mm -hmm. be in a position like that because mm -hmm. it's just so free without you know having yeah. to worry about taking care of a grown person when you yeah. already have two kids to take care true, of true. I, mean, I don't put the responsibility on myself to cook this man food or something like that like i don't think that way mm -hmm. but naturally as you are a wife mm -hmm. and you're making yourself food mm -hmm. obviously you're gonna also make your kids food mm -hmm. now if you make yourself some food and your kids some food now he, they, he gonna be like well where's my food yeah but like right. what if i made myself like like see I would naturally, maybe, like, I didn't want to eat anything, like, major tonight. I might just right. eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, right? Exactly. Yeah. I might feed my kids something, you know, like, let's say if I wanted to feed them, what, like, some fish couscous. Fish nuggets. Yeah, fish okay. nuggets. Exactly. And, and mix, frozen Veggies. mixed vegetables, yeah. right? <laughs> and I'm just going to eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yeah. Now, you feel like you're in the position, like, oh, I have to cook you something. Like, I don't feel like it should be that way. Like, I cook for myself. I cook for the kids. I'm not trying to make like this huge dinner tonight yeah you know mm -hmm. what i mean just make something for yourself it that should be that way because literally all i want is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich like if you want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich i can make you one of those real quick <laughs> right but i ain't make, make you know chicken and rice you know right no salad you know mm -hmm. like no like let's say i went to work and to me the problem the issue is for me is like cause when i work at home it's different you know mm -hmm. now i have to cook your breakfast lunch and your dinner yeah you don't make me breakfast lunch and dinner that's true. Also, a lot of the times the roles go to mom like to do the laundry and stuff. Mm -hmm. And then the husband wants to just throw his stuff in there. It's like, but I'm doing my own laundry. You do your own laundry. So, like, so, we're individual. Like, you can do your, Who was doing your laundry beforehand? Do your own laundry. Now, I don't do laundry. The husband do laundry. So, I can't say that. But I'm just saying. I'm just giving an example. The thing is, though, I also don't mind doing my husband's laundry. But when I don't have the time mm -hmm. and they think you're going to keep doing it anyway, you know what I mean? Right. That's the thing. Yeah. But see, I, don't, I also don't have that issue, though. I'm saying like, that's not actually my issue currently. Mm -hmm. Because Joe does his laundry. Joe likes to keep his stuff clean. I think the problem here that is that each person is saying is working the problem like when you have something else to do like yeah, women are expected to too. work take mm -hmm. care of the kids oh also and be a wife and, do and get stuff. your phd and get three have three jobs <laughs> and you still supposed to come home and cook all the dinner and make all the lunches yeah even actually let's say i don't make any money mm -hmm. i'm staying home and taking care of the kids right yeah i think cooking and like all those mm -hmm. house chores can be still divided like, yeah, not just, I agree. yeah, because like taking yeah. care of the kids it's are like it's a job, yeah, right. it's self. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess. I guess. but but that say. was but that was like basically mm -hmm. the reason, the reason, the reason that we're fighting all the time. That's not true, like that's that what was the, saying, mm, yeah, that's what you argue you about, right? Yeah, that's what you bring argue stuff about, yeah, but that doesn't make any sense. The house is not clean. There's no food. Mm -hmm. That's what he would be saying. Yeah. I remember when I was talking to you and I was like, well, get a housekeeper. Mm -hmm. Have her cook and have her do the food. Then what? Yeah, but he didn't have that money at right. the time. And right. then I was the one making money mm -hmm. for a while, right? And then once he started making money, he started like belittling me mm -hmm. and belittling my job. Wow. So like, you're not even making that much money. Like once if you're gonna, going to school. If you're going to like, you know, making only that money. <laughs> Um, and then putting our life, all that kind of stuff on the internet. It's just better for me to actually go outside and get a like Walmart job. Like, right. I don't know. Like, <laughs> Take care of your kids. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but I mean, because that shows you that that's like, okay, is the argument about that or is it about communication and how you chose to talk to me and belittle me, yeah, you know? Yeah. Like, what is the real problem? Is it really yeah. mm -hmm. because of cleaning or is the problem that you're, exactly you, like you think you can talk to your wife that way? <laughs> Actually, I hire a cleaning a lady. Right. Yeah, I yes, I talked about. Remember? Yeah, yeah, I did. Okay, did. I did. I told you. No, I think I told you. In in Portland, no, I had a cleaning coming. cleaning person no. coming once or twice a week. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, then um, happened? it was okay, but still like. Because that's not what the problem. Is. That's right. That's not yeah. the problem. Yeah, it's something else. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's not the problem. Right. Like I know that's not the problem because number one, your house is not dirty. 
Like, oh my gosh, your house is so filthy. Oh my gosh, like it's horrible. Like, why? If that's the case, if you want his house, can you just hire someone? That was his true problem, and he loved you and wanted to be with you. He yeah, himself right. would hire someone to keep his house clean. That's mm. true. Of all like, the yeah, money my wife is, so much job. My dear wife is so messy. Right. I have ha, to ha, pay ha. a cleaner. Ha ha ha. That's right. It. Yeah, that was it. Right. Because there are people who, <laughs> who are married to hoarders on that show. <laughs> hoarders. And they're like, I don't know, she's my wife. And they're lifting all that stuff. Right, it's just up love without seeing that problem. Hmm. I kind of want ice cream. Mm. Don't get any ice cream. <laughs> you don't need any ice cream. <laughs> oh my God. So, so we're talking about like, okay, in a relationship, we don't just need... Okay, we need love and compatibility, but then we started talking about core belief, right? And then you were talking about like you. One of your friends said like love is the most important thing. Yeah, like her, their love conquers any their non compatibility. Mm. It might not be compatible people, but mm -hmm. their love for each other and their core moral values. All their core moral values are the same. Their love for mm -hmm. each other mm -hmm. just overshadows any incompatibility between those people you know so but i think it's more like a um, core value though mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. what they believe right what they believe right? yeah like, i'm never gonna get divorced okay. yeah so yeah like that's not gonna be uh -huh. no. yeah so for me like you can still love a person but you can still leave that person because you don't believe what they believe in and that's why i left that in my person Mm -hmm. You know I love them, our core values were so different. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to work. Like if you strongly believe your kids should be getting an education mm -hmm. and your significant other cares nothing about it mm -hmm. and you're trying to focus and put your energy into that and they're just like on some other, you know, all the way on the other end, no, let them play, let them do this. That's yeah. not gonna work and raise the kids. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, bro, I gotta leave you. Even though I love you all from over here. Yeah. So, I'm in another house mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. where I can teach my kids some more values I want to put in them. So core value is the most important thing, I think, for somebody to stay together, right? In a relationship. <laughs> Akiba, Maybe. <laughs> Akiba, what do you think? Because I was saying love and compatibility. I think compatibility is basically also like, like basically same core values. Like, do you have the same values, right? No? Compatibility is like personality type. Personality. Mm. Do they get well along to you guys? Mm. Like, we're compatible because you like to do the same things. We're compatible because, like, you're really outspoken. I'm not. That works. Like, mm. That's compatibility. What I would say is core values. Important. Core values are a must. Like, it might not keep you together, but you at least, at the least, you have to have the same core values. Because mm. it's so hard if you don't sit on that foundation of your same. Like, if you don't, that's a foundation, right. you know, mm, yeah. that you can build on. Like, even the core value of, like, you and you said that when you got married, you thought I would never get divorced, and James was the same way, too. Like, mm -hmm. once you get married, you don't get divorced. That's how you stay together. Yeah. Even when you're like, while. ew. <laughs> right, until that core value changed. Mm -hmm. Now, it was starting to waver, and someone's foundation broke down. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, divorce. That's literally what happened. And I was also, I was very, very unhappy. And he was very, very unhappy. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to stay in a very, very unhappy relationship. Even though I knew that, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna divorce. Even though I'm unhappy, we can work it out. Mm -hmm. yeah. But. Yeah. And then your core back changed. You said, never mind, I can't get a divorce. Yeah. That is what happened. <laughs> yeah. And so you made a chance to change your mind. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people have that core, feel like they have that core value until they get into a situation where it's, yeah, because a few of my friends who are divorced have like, I thought I thought I would never get divorced. We, we both said divorce is out of the question. No, they're mm -hmm. lying. He's like, well, what if they cheat? They're like, well, yeah, then we'll get the divorced. They cheat. No, they might say we'll work through it or something. No, they did not. I asked I, every single person, almost every single person I asked said, it's every people I know who are still together. I said, well, when they cheated, they were like, well, then, then we'll, we'll get a divorce, of course. You don't know what people are really thinking. No, okay, okay, all right. I'm just saying maybe that's not a, a core value to make. I don't know. <laughs> See, but, oh, we both don't believe in divorce. Let's get married. Because that can change if one person is acting horrible or if both people are, you know. I mean, unhappy. then, like, in general, like, 
you know, are they okay? That's how you arrange know, marriage. They're like, are they okay for you? Are you okay for them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they don't know anything about each other. Hmm. They might stay married, but they might not be the happiest. Because also... No, a lot of them are happy. No, but a lot of them are not. And a lot of them are. Yeah, a, a lot of them are and a lot of are. But see, also with the matter, it depends on your culture. That's all we've got here. Yeah, so two black like, right, One more. Oh, no, all I'm saying is that if you have it in your culture, like, okay, you could get married, but you don't really, like, that's not the most important thing. Like, let's say your kids are the most important, especially for a lot of women. So even if your marriage is unhappy, you're mm -hmm. so busy with your mm -hmm. other life. Mm -hmm. Like, you barely see that person. Yeah, that's how I would probably be the man. Yeah. If you would have had another four kids, you probably wouldn't have even known he existed. <laughs> 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 you don't have time for you. <laughs> no, that's very true. That is like you should never true. be in the house. <laughs> or like even when your babies were younger. <laughs> true. true. Yeah. And also you not having any family up there. Mm -hmm. And friends. Yeah. You gotta spend more time with them. You gotta spend all the time. At with your them. house. You can't go over to your mama's house and chill out. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and no one to actually, you know, help us with the kids also. Mm -hmm. So we never really had time to be with like Each just other. Yeah, alone, yeah. Oh, yeah. Having alone time and stuff. Well, all that has to do with yeah. all that has to do with like how the situation gets to where it is. Yeah. 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 And then you go, yeah. Like, how did we get here? Mm -hmm. Anyway, how's your life now? Oh, I love it. Okay then. <laughs> That's all that matters. <laughs> That's all we can do is ask you. Let me go, boo. Let me go see. Act in the moment. What do you mean? Let me go, You ain't single. You got a man. That's true. But, I mean, that's how it falls. That's the way the cookie crumbles. You were with Joe right after you were with... That's different. I was 20-something. That's a boy lady. How is that different? 49 years old. I didn't call me 49.